53rd edition of International Film Festival of India is committed in showcasing world-class cinema and also providing a platform for filmmakers and audiences alike. Today, Herald TV takes you to the Film Bazaar showcasing a museum of old films and some stalls that will light up your mood. Welcome to Day 3 of the week. We are just giving a glimpse of what we have in our collection, the kind of format. So for instance, the, the magnetic media, the film, microfilm, various forms of magnetic media like beta cam, DV cam. So these were used in camcorders and that sort of thing. Then various formats for audio recording, then VHS and uh, high-end video tapes, audio cassettes, digital data is stored in disc uh, in you know uh, tapes like these. So this was the predecessor, DLT's digital linear tape. After that came linear tape open or LTO tapes. And if you can see, it is 6 terabyte for LTO 6, LTO 7. Uh, that's quite a huge capacity. We use LTO for digital storage. Then another fascinating thing, just a glimpse of what we have. So these are glass negative slides. You would want to take a picture like in the... So, these are quite common, that's at least 60 years old. Apart from the formats, we also focus on you know, publicity material. We call it the ancillary material. The ancillary material consists of anything that's not film. So, song booklets, photographs, think of anything that's paper based and photographic material based. And we, you know, this is part of our collection. So, I'll give you an example. So, there's this. This is song booklet for Andhra Nagri Chaupat Raja. So song booklets are uh, essential because A, this is the most authentic source of information. This is pre-internet era that we are talking about. So just getting a glimpse of, uh, okay, Avinash Vyas did the music. So this is the most authentic source. After that, you see, you know, the synopsis in multiple languages and the song lyrics itself in multiple languages. And generally, the publications also used to include the what's the next project that they had. Apart from that, like these are paper based and the other is photograph. So photographs, again, all these are duplicates, so we have multiple copies and that's one reason we have brought it here. So for instance, three charsubis. So the point is, anything that has got to do with cultural memory of India will be preserved at the art. So just a glimpse, so these are the schools that are used. These are the bobbins. Bobbins are something on the film, you know, is wound around. Uh, we have a collage of uh, films and Mr. D.G. Parkin, the father of Indian cinema. And while doing the 35 million projection, so this is a checking table. Checking is a periodic activity that is done so that we can assess the condition of each release that is in our collection. And we have over 2 lakh releases in our collection. These are the projection spools when, you know, once we get to the 16, you can see that, you know, it is bounded on something. So these are the ones for the 35 mm films. Uh, this is just a sample of what we have in our collection. These large posters are digitized as well. Apart from that, okay, just a glimpse of all these beautiful posters from various films. Abhiman, Mendira Plagio, Martin Film Court, Mangal Sutra. And as you can see, there is a promo film that we have uh, which gives you a broader outline of what we do at the archive and the current project of National Film Heritage Mission which aims to digitize and restore over 5,000 films and uh, digitize 5,000 films and restore over 2,200 films. So we go to the... Uh, 
Mr. Salama are from the Venturist. So essentially the film goes through that. There's a light source that and there's a take up source. And the projection that you see, the film that you are seeing right now is an Egyptian film by Maharashtra Audio Jewel Society. Now of course in the pre-trend era, it's demonstration were to be done and education for educational purposes, we do have a lot of films in our collection. Uh, we are just showing radiation radiation in biology. That's the topic of this particular educational film. And these are quite common forms of educating people. Demonstration then and what is Archimedes principle and that sort of thing. So they have n number of varieties from various topics covering no in these educational films. So this is just a because 35 millimeter project. 60 millimeter position is a continuous thing that we do at our device. 8 millimeter camera. Sorry, projector. And this is an 8 millimeter camera. So these were quite common forms of you know for shooting. So for instance, like we had Kodak 36 shots, you know, when we went to a family trip. This was the most common form for you know, people who could have
course can get some pictures of you. Now my first question is for you. Um, how did this concept come about? I know it was shot very uniquely in one apartment during lockdown. So how did the whole idea come about? I think in the state of mind I was back then, you know, it almost chose itself, you know. I was working on another film and then the lockdown came and, you know, the way I felt it back then, it was like, no, I cannot work on something I have to written about it the last two years. So I think it just like, I had the urge to, to, to use the momentum and use the lockdown in fact and to, to work with the restraints of like, being impossible at that time to, to shoot a movie under normal circumstances. So that's why very quickly the idea of having two people in one So I'm sure, I think Felix, you were also not only producer but also the director of photography. Shooting in one space, was there any challenges? Well, yes, of course, there's a lot of challenges. Uh, especially to not uh, reproduce yourself or make the same images again. So we made sure that we discover the apartment as an audience actually a lot of different angles, different ways to tell the story best. Fantastic. Uh, question for both of you. Could you tell us a little bit about your characters that you're playing in the film? Hello? Well, uh, we shot it a long time ago, so um, my character, there's a way she's independent, or she thinks of herself that she's independent, and I think she's on a long search. Uh, search for who she really is, and I don't know if the film can answer this question for her. So, it's a journey. What about you, Lucas? My character is a businessman who's trying to make some money. <laughs> Straight and simple. Tell us, what's it like being here in India, in Goa? Is it your first time here? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's my second time here. I actually have a family in India, and my daughter is Porto Indian, so I feel very rooted and well connected being here. And I love India, and I love its people, and the tranquility, and the equanimity that I feel here. So it's very touching. What about you all? Is your first time here in Goa? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what's, what's your experience been like so far? How do you feel being here at IFE, the International Film Festival of India, on the red carpet? How do you guys feel right now? It's a great honor, so thank you for having us. It's an honor to have you as well. Uh, if we could just get a few photographs with you all right now, and then we can proceed to the auditorium. So ladies and gentlemen, Distance is being screened in Auditorium 1, and that's happening at 2.30 p.m., so be sure to catch that. A very unique film that was shot during lockdown, in one apartment. We'll have a chat with you as well. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the cast of